Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in and coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a super great day. And today I'm talking about Topaz Studio again. And in particular, I'm talking about Simplify within Studio. So Topaz Simplify used to be a standalone Topaz product that was a plug-in to you know, Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever. And now Topaz Simplify is actually built into Topaz Studio. So it's a combination of three different pro adjustments. You do have to purchase them uh, within Studio. You can also buy them off of the website. And basically, uh, they total uh, just shy of $40, like $39.99 or something for these three adjustments. These three adjustments are called, um, the first one's called Abstraction, second one is called Edges, and the third one is called Quad Tone. And the three of these make up the Simplify Adjustment Pack, if you will, within Topaz Studio. Now you might be asking what is Topaz Simplify or Simplify in Studio as it's now known. And as the name implies, it allows you to simplify a photo. It basically removes details and allows you to create some kind of uh, works of art. Now it's not necessarily a painting per se, although you can do some effects kind of like that, but it does a lot of different things. And so I'm better off just showing you than telling you. So let me jump into that and give you an example or two. In fact, I've got several photos I'll show you. So here's the first photo. It took it years ago. At a, um, at a zoo in San Antonio. Obviously, it's a bear um, taking a nap, I guess. <laughs> so, sleepy bear. Um, now, in studio, you've got your sort of uh, adjustment panel on the right, your image uh, in the center, and on the left here, which I've hidden, you've got your effects. Now, depending on which products you own, you may or may not have the same thing I have here, but you will have the presets. And so, Simplify is basically um, a lot of, there's a lot of different presets over here. And sometimes I use these as a starting point. And as you can see, it'll stick some adjustments onto your photo and that sort of thing. But I actually prefer to do it all on my own. And so I usually just go into the adjustment panel and I'll get the three different pro adjustments that make up um, this uh, Simplify pack, if you will. And that's abstraction and edges there and quad tone. And so, um, I'll get to quad tone last. I'll do these in order. Abstraction, uh, basically, it's, it's just some sliders. It's really easy, but let me just show you what it does. So, as I drag this to the right, you can see that the details get simplified, and it starts to kind of fade out and become more artsy, right? It's a great way to um, sort of express some uh, creative uh, output, right, without uh, having to get a paintbrush, basically. So, um, you know, I generally move it about like that, and you know I like that look. I, I personally find it kind of interesting. You can also do this feature boost. Um, and so every slider, they, they seem to vary a little bit in terms of uh, what it's gonna look like on a photo. So for me, it's always down to experimentation. I do like the detail strength. Um, I like to bring back a little bit of that detail, even though I've kind of blurred out some by using this Simplify. Um, but that's basically what uh, Abstraction does. Now, there's some presets that you can choose from. You can get a cartoon. Uh, right, you can get this color variation, soft and simple, very simple, right? That soft and simple actually looks pretty good. Maybe I'll just choose that. Um, and so that's another reason I don't use a lot of the presets on the left. Um, I use sometimes the presets that are within each adjustment uh, themselves. So that's abstraction. The next one is edges. And so edges, uh, you know, they allow you to create sort of trace effects, outlines, things like that. So there's a lot you can do here. This is not a full tutorial on how to use it. And in fact, I will admit that edges out of these three adjustments, edges is the one that I probably use the least. I love abstraction. I like to remove that detail and soften it up. And I absolutely, I just freaking adore quad tone. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you've heard me talk about split toning, either in Luminar or other products. I'm a big fan of that, but quad tone is even better. It's basically four instead of split toning, which is highlights and shadows. Quad tone is highlight shadows, but also blacks and whites. So let me show you how you can adjust colors. I'm gonna reset edges, and then we get into quad tone. So basically, you open it up, and you have some presets here. Again, you know, you can kind of go through and, and see what happens here, and you can see down below where the different boxes next to the words black, shadow, highlight, and white, where those are being adjusted. Um, again, I tend to do this myself, but you just click on this, it opens a color wheel, and to the right is darker, to the left is brighter. So you can come over here and I'm, I'm in blacks, right? So what I'm doing is I'm take, taking my blacks and making them a bit brighter, right? So now you can see the box is white. Now you haven't seen anything in the photo and that's because the strength slider is at zero. So let me turn strength on and you will see how that's now impacting the photo where things that were actually black, uh, the blacks are now turning a bit wider, right? So 
That's one thing I recommend always is I actually generally move the strength slider over to the right first and then go adjust colors because otherwise you're adjusting colors, you have no idea what they're gonna look like. So I think that's a, a time saver. Let me show you a finished edit of how I use some of these filters on this exact photo. One second. Okay, here we go. Now, I used abstraction and quad tone, but I also used basic adjustment and vignette. Now, basic adjustment and vignette, which you see here, those are both free adjustments uh, that are included with Topaz Studio. You can get Topaz Studio at the link down below. It's free with those 10 adjustments. All the other adjustments, which I think there's 24 now that are pro, um, are things you have to purchase. You can use my name, uh, Jim Nix, as a coupon code and save 15%. And in full disclosure, I'm an affiliate. I make a, a small commission. If you do that, it helps support me and keep making these videos for you. Um, anyway, here's a finished edit. So I did some abstraction. Uh, there you go. You can just kind of see I did some things there. A little bit of basic adjustments, which was, you know, I did some negative clarity. Um, I did uh, a, a light vignette, and then I did quad tone. And you can see here, again, you just click on one of these and you move the uh, slider around. Uh, left or right and then you move it within the color wheel to pick the color and that's how you get it so I was able to go from this original photo to that which is a, you know kind of artistic kind of fun so let me show you some other examples because this is great on you can use it on portraits you can use it on uh, florals flowers that sort of thing uh, I've got a photo of my dog um, I use it on cityscapes landscapes things like that so let me give you some more examples so here's my dog. Um, she's so cute and sweet. Um, there's the original, just an iPhone shot. We'd given her a bath. She was wet and kind of pissed off, to be honest, so she wasn't looking at me. Uh, but I just thought, it, because of the curls and the sort of things on her uh, hair, I thought it would look cool. And so there it is. I turned it into that. And so you can see I did some tone and color adjustments. I used abstraction to remove the detail and create that more artistic look. And then quad tone, of course, to, uh, to uh, change the colors. Let me show you a couple more examples. Okay, here's a, here's a nature photo, right? This tiny little mushroom I found in the forest once when I was on a hike. Let me show you another cool thing you can do, and that is, so simplify. Maybe you wanna, uh, you know, create a bit of an art, uh, you know, an artistic view of this. However, you don't wanna lose all the detail in the mushroom because, I mean, that, let's face it, that's the point of this photo, and you kinda want that to be sharp. So the cool thing, and I probably did too much, the cool thing is every filter has masking built into it. So you just click on this box, you've got a mask there, and I'm gonna grab the brush, and then as you can see, I'm just gonna come over here, and I'm just gonna paint uh, onto this mushroom here. And all I'm doing is I'm masking that out so that it's not affected. There you go, you can kinda of see that. I'll do this stem as well, and there you go. Um, I'm gonna clean that up. Um, if you take a look over here on the right-hand side, you can see the mask, so remember black, uh, conceals and white reveal. almost had that backwards. Black conceals and white reveals. So I, I black, uh, I use the black here to mask out the effect. It's concealing the effect. And so now I've isolated the mushroom. The background, if you recall in the original, was, you know, a little bit crunchy, probably a little too much. And so now that I've masked it out, I can go back over here uh, to the simplify and just maybe adjust that down a little bit. All I'm trying to do is just create a little bit more blur and abstraction, for life of a bad word, of the background. I don't really want any details there, but I don't want it to be like a cartoonish or completely artistic. So uh, there you go, something like that. Maybe that's a little too much. Something like that basically removes the details and I masked out the mushroom so it's not affected. Works every time, also works on portraits. So this fine gentleman was working at the Tower of London and um, I previously did this edit in Luminar, made it a black and white, that sort of thing. But here we go once again, I can do the same thing as I did on the mushroom, right? I'm creating a, a layer of abstraction, for lack of a better word. I go in here with my brush and I'm just gonna paint over his face and his beard because let's face it, that is the, uh, um, the point of this photo is this guy with this cool face and this, uh, this awesome beard. Now everything else is kind of blurred out, but I think especially in a portrait, you always want the eyes and the face to be sharp. So you can see my mask there, and maybe I'll turn down a little bit of that simplify. But it does, as the name implies in abstraction, it abstracts the detail and uh, just kind of simplifies the photo. So I like that look. And as I said, I've used it on a lot of cityscapes. Let me show you some of those. Now here's one in Venice. Here's the original. and. 
uh, again, previously edited, this was an HDR that I did in Aurora HDR, three exposures, uh, but I brought it in here because I do this a lot of times. I'll pre-edit a photo and I'll create my regular version, kind of my colorful version, if you will. But then if I'm feeling artistic and want to, you know, kind of express uh, a different vision of it, uh, I'll take it in here to uh, Topaz Studio and I can do that with these uh, tools in Simplify. So this was actually a preset and you can see all the adjustments on the right hand side. But that, uh, that to me is really interesting because if you look at the original it's pretty crisp. I mean, the boat's pretty sharp. The buildings in the background have a lot of detail in them, and they're pretty sharp. And the truth is, my eye kind of wanders around a little bit. But uh, let me turn that off. When you simplify it, um, you know, a lot of that detail's gone. And I don't know, I'm, I'm more drawn into the color and sort of the overall vibe of the photo. Now, here's the other thing you can do. Um, in addition to having an opacity slider, so like this abstraction has an opacity slider, that's pretty cool. I took it down a little bit. I actually think I might like that better than at full opacity. But let's say I left it at full opacity. You can also do the opacity for the entire photo. So that'll affect all the photos at once. So I'm basically pulling down the opacity of every one of these adjustments. So just keep that in mind. You might initially choose a preset and say, well, I don't really like it and move on. But keep in mind that with your uh, opacity sliders, either on the individual filter or in the entire photo, you have the ability to get back to something that maybe you like a little bit better. And I think that one looks pretty good. That's at about 62 on abstraction, but compared to the original, you know, you still got some of the detail, so it doesn't look as much like it's a painting or some digital manipulation. It looks, there it is, now it looks more like a photo that maybe somebody did some kind of cool artistic post-processing which is what I did, but it doesn't look like I turned it into a painting, right? So let me show you one more example where, where I really amp up uh, quad tone. Okay, so here's a, uh, a single exposure from London, obviously, and I cropped this one 16 by nine already. You can crop in Topaz Studio as well. Another reason I like the product, um, but that's the original. I did not do any previous edits to it. It is unedited when I brought it in here to st Studio. And now with these uh, filters, you can see abstraction, I got quad tone, precision contrast, dual tone, and focal blur. Um, focal blur is a paid or pro adjustment. Again, you can use coupon code GYMNEXT to save 15%, but I turned the photo into this. So I abstracted it, I did some major color shifts with both quad tone and dual tone. Dual tone is basically split toning, it is a free adjustment. Um, and then I added focal blur to get rid of some of the blur, or excuse me, to add some blur to the water. If you look at that, the water is a little bit choppy, and there it is now a whole lot smoother. So, you know, here, just abstraction, kind of your basic stuff, right? Um, really what I did, I spent a lot of time in quad tone. I moved these colors around quite a bit, increased the strength pretty significantly, and let me show you the before. There it is, which isn't bad looking. That includes this dual tone, by the way. Let me turn that off. Um, so, uh, but with quad tone off and now on, I really just completely changed the vibe of the photo, I think. I kind of like that look. Uh, precision contrast is a really powerful filter. Also a pro adjustment that you would have to purchase. And um, that one allowed me to, to, you know, get a little bit better, um, you know, vision or a version of the photo, right? So there's that and that, just that contrast is really nice. Uh, dual tone, as I said, is the same as split toning. It is a free adjustment. There's the before and there's the after. I just amped up some of the warmth in the sky. And if you take a look at it, you can see that I did highlight color really high with the, uh, uh, in the yellows, whereas the shadow color pretty low, which was kind of in the blues, right? I felt like I already had a pretty good amount of blue. There's the before, there's the after. So I didn't really want to amp that up too much. Uh, and then focal blur. I did a video about focal blur uh, recently. You can take a look at that at that link. But focal blur, I just added a uh, tilt shift effect. Um, no, I didn't actually, I, uh, I did a circular blur there. So um, anyway, there we go. So there's the before and after. Let me, actually, let me show you. There's the before and there's the after. So actually I did do a tilt shift, hang on a second. Yeah, I'm on tilt shift, okay. Oh, that's just showing up because, why is that showing up? Circular, tilt shift, okay. Yeah, got rid of that. I don't know why that was showing up there. Um, I was doing something wrong. I don't know what it was, but I thought it was a tilt shift because the cool thing about tilt shift, and I covered this in the focal blur video, is you know you can create this slice that's in focus, which in this case, because it's a very long and narrow photo, a 16 by nine crop, I've got that center area that I want in focus, but the water below it and the sky above it, I don't care. So tilt shift is actually perfect. So you can change the size and the position and the amount of blur. 
And you know, if you wanted to, you could just amp the blur up more and more, something like that. But anyway, you can check out that video for a tutorial on how to use focal blur. But the point was, I was able to take a photo that unedited looked like that, which you know doesn't look bad. It needs a little contrast and you know a few little things. But I came over here and made something that I thought was really interesting and artistic and fun. So uh, that's really it. I just wanted to walk through how Topaz. Uh, simplify in studio operates. You do get the three adjustments that I said abstraction, edges, and quad tone, and it's $39.99, I think, or $39.97, something like that. Um, you can find it on their website. I'll put a link down below. Again, anything you purchase, use coupon code GYMNIX and save 15%. And um, that's it. I mean, I think, frankly, abstraction and quad tone, if you can't tell in this video, I love those two adjustments. They're super fun to play with, and you can do some really cool, interesting, and creative things. And that's it for today, my friends. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great one. I'll be back soon with more videos and uh, adios.